that you all are having a great weekend. Well, solutions are there. Listen to how this person is dealing with all of his issues. The fact that everyone has a problem doesn't mean that you can't find a solution. Even if you're a natural English speaker, it may be difficult to understand. Therefore, I recommend that you listen to it a couple of times in a calm atmosphere. And please listen to it with earphones or headphones. Wishing you an awesome day and enjoy the weekend. Have a great day. Bye now. So I want to begin first by appreciating the meditations and what they have brought me. I've finally managed to start doing them regularly early in the morning. And I have allowed more solutions. I've always loved receiving uh, opportunities to solve complex problems. And somebody says it's complex. I'm like, okay, good. Let's see what we can do. Let's chew on that just for a little bit because that's really juicy. Okay. Solving some complex problems problems means being consciously aware of the escalation the increase in momentum the improvement in your ability to see it's like long savoring isn't it yeah it really is the reason you create so many problems you create <laughs> complex problems because you enjoy solving complex problems because you are sophisticated yes and I love the allowing of the solution and this new problems will surface around me in a place where it's technical and it's stuff I haven't observed before and it's I have to learn allow a learning quickly it's just so nice when it's like I can more and more trust that a solution is going to come in what others might see as an unreasonably quick period of time and we want to stick a few little words in here just for savoring purposes the feeling of satisfaction is a big piece of this that we want to talk about but the other thing is the conscious recognition of personal receptivity knowing that you're in the receptive mode because this is the way the universe surprises and delights you in other words you're ready you're ready and when the realization comes the revelation has already taken place but when you're in the receiving mode the realization of it that realization is where the surprise and delight of life is most people think, oh, that's when the car's in the garage, or that's when the empire already has been created, or that's when my lover shows up and I can get my hands on her or him. <laughs> but the surprise and delight really is in the incremental but steady progress toward because of your path of least resistance. Esther was not aware of the sport of curling. <laughs> She did not know about it. And then when she saw it for the first time, she said, look at them. They're creating a path of least resistance. Yes. That's what they're doing. And then she thought, Abraham, that's what you do for me. You're out there just making the ice really smooth and putting a little groove in it just so that the momentum that I've started can carry on. Yeah. So, yes. I appreciate that I am in a place where I can have these complex problems. I'm just going to appreciate for a second. I appreciate that I've allowed wonderful job. I appreciate my incredible wife. I appreciate the music, which I get to allow flow through me. I appreciate the momentum that my contrast has created. Let's just start there. I'm working towards starting there. Yeah. And <laughs> I am. I'm much better at it now than I used to be. That's been the place I'm trying to open up to, actually, yeah. is appreciating the conscious more. I wasn't going to go there, but yes. <laughs> it's because that is, the, as you said, in if, one of the contrasting... When you know what you don't, you know what you do want. There's momentum yes. in that. Yes. yes. And so... And so, after the appreciation, is a general universe question. And that is... And I may need phrasing on this, but... When we go to sleep, it allows us a chance to reset. That's part of the sleep And think about mechanism. why, because we want to back up just a little bit to something that we just said that we really want you to take home with you today. And that is that fixing a problem or getting something that you want or getting to that receiving mode where ideas occur to you and you can follow them out is really best experienced by you. If you put your concentration toward your readiness to receive rather than 
your ability to go out there and get it and make it happen. So if you're focused upon preparing your vibrational atmosphere so that being in the receiving mode is what you most care about, then as things unfold, you are in that receiving mode where the new idea to the complex problem can occur to you. We're going to insert this. It'll help you to just sort of relax in readiness for what's coming next because some good stuff is about to happen here. Esther has a house in Southern California and she has beautiful gardens and she lives on a ravine that overlooks the ocean. And in the ravine, lots of critters live. She has a skunk. She named him flower because she can't smell him. He doesn't smell like Texas skunks. <laughs> and there are other critters. There's a family of raccoons and there are lots of rats and she doesn't see the rats. She just knows they're there. So the other day, the nice man came to change the filters in her air conditioner. He had to climb under the house to do it a place where no one should ever have to go, <laughs> but he happily goes and he changes the filters and then he leaves. And the next time Esther goes to adjust the temperature, she realizes that there's an air message on her thermostat, an alarm that she had not noticed before, whether it was there or not, she's not sure. But since he's just been there, she's more alert. So there it is. So she calls him back and says, since you were here, there's a little alarm on my thermostat. Maybe there's something not plugged in or maybe, and he said, I'll come out and I'll check on it. And so the next day he came and he looked 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 and he looked. He could not find anything. And he said to Esther something that was completely illogical to her must be user error. But in this situation, Esther could not understand how that could be because she was doing the same thing that the user had always been doing, but now she has an air. And so he said, you may have just tried to turn it too cold. And Esther thought, no, but anyway, he'd reached the end of his ability to help her and he started to leave. And then Esther being in the receiving mode, she really likes this person said, Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's something I wanted to ask you about. Haven't heard it lately, but a few months ago, I was out near the condenser out there in the garden and I was making quite a racket. Like there's something broken off in it or maybe some leaves in it or something, but it was making a sound that I'm not used to hearing. He said, did you hear it lately? And Esther said, no, but could you just take the cover off and see if there's anything in the way? So I took the cover off and he came back in the house and about 15 minutes and he said rats have chewed your wire and that's what the air code is about and Esther said those dirty rats <laughs> now how does that happen Esther didn't remember she didn't have that on her list of things she wanted to talk to him about but it was the path of least resistance to the solution that she was looking for and so she is just a willing cooperative component to her own solutions. And he said, good thing you remembered that. And Esther thought, I actually don't think I remembered that. I think that someone knew what was going on. So then Esther said to us, Abraham, why didn't you just say, Esther, the rats have chewed the wire. <laughs> and we said, because you love the rats. You don't want the rats to be the reason for your problem. You don't want to make unnecessary trouble for the rats. Well, really she does. She's going to make as much unnecessary trouble for them as she can, but it was not the path of least resistance. This was, and what difference does it make? This is the thing that we want you all to realize is that what difference does it make? What form your path of least resistance offers? Isn't it all fun? That was really fun for Esther. That was a surprise and delight. She, she had moved on. She didn't expect him to continue to solve the problem of the air. She had accepted that that air code was on there. She wasn't trying to solve that problem. She just thought of something she thought she'd ask him about. And so things that seem so simple, this is not 
that complicated, sophisticated thought that you're talking about. But the majority of the solutions come to you in ways just like that. And so? The allowing of the solution. I really love the terminology, allowing the solution. Let's say, let's say it even better. The preparing of myself for the allowing of the solution. The preparing of my happy frame of mind, which means take care of me, take my walk, drink my water, get my rest, play with people that are fun to play with, do the things that make me feel best, meditate, quiet my mind, become as resistant free as I can. Because in a resistance free zone, you get all the clues, not because you need the clues, but because the clues are fun because that's the hands in the clay. And that's what true creating is. Yes. And the fun is sometimes the path that you didn't get there directly by being told that, hey, the rats are the problem, but because you had something go this way and you're like, wait a second, that was an interesting path. How? Wow. Because you are interested in the creatine, not the creation. It was so much more fun this way. If he'd said, yep, found it, found it. There's something not connecting. So I just ran another wire. I took care of it. Esther would have thought you are such a wonderful person but this way she got to be in on it she got to co-create with her HVAC guy <laughs> she got to co-create with him yeah yes so in sleeping going back to that it's a, a allowing of a reset because it's a slowing of momentum in your sleep state you're not focused in the absence of focus on things that have been bothering you the momentum of them has slowed way down and so when you first awaken, the only momentum that you have for those split seconds as you awaken is the consciousness and the awareness of your inner being. So you are solution oriented when you awaken. And so the question is for the dream state, occasionally I'll have dreams and remember them. And in that process, rarely they're worrisome because if something was generated is the worry that's happening during the dream detached so that that isn't contrast creating stuff and it's only the momentum before and after the sleep it's insignificant in relationship to what you're doing when you're fully awake but here's a good way to look at this most important you're not dreaming all night long like you think you are while you are asleep there is a let's call it a coordination of your vibrational frequencies you're more in the receiving mode when you're asleep and your inner being is flowing to you on a cellular level. Trillions of cells are receiving the benefit of the communication from your inner being. And you're not in the way because your conscious thought is not active. And so there is a, let's just call it a modulating. There's not so much a clearing out as a redefining. You used good words, a sort of resetting. It's a rebalancing of energies. But the dreams that you are realizing have been in motion during your wake state. You've created a sort of vibrational reality in which those dreams exist. And so as you awaken, as you are coming into your wake state, the residual of how you usually feel is your point of attraction that causes you to interpret those dreams. If you've got something that you've been worrying about for a while, when you first wake up in the morning and that download happens, because that's when it happens as you're coming back into consciousness, that's when the full of your dreaming happens. doesn't feel like that to you. Consciousness is tricky for you because you're not accustomed to really being aware of your consciousness. For the most part, you don't even know about the larger part of your consciousness. And so your dream state is only about what's been going on with you in your physical experience and it is the residual of what you've had going on once you get the hang of this and once you begin meditating more and once you are more deliberately in the receiving mode and once you're feeling good more of the time your dreams morph into entirely different things you stop solving problems during your dreams or you stop worrying about things in your dreams people stop chasing you in your dreams in other words <laughs> things that you don't want are no longer a part of your dreams because that's not an active part of your vibration mm -hmm. and so no it was just the nature of the universe there really wasn't a so on that because I, I just didn't I had a hole there where I, I wasn't understanding what happened there I knew that wasn't going to expand the nature of our conversation very much but I really wanted what we to really know what like you there. to think about we like you to think about 
So here you are awake, you're awake and in this day and you in your physical body are an extension of source energy and you've got some things you're focused upon maybe it's driving from one place to another or maybe it's a conversation or something you're studying or working on could be any number of things that you're focused upon the thing that we really want you to hear is that you are not alone in this focus that your inner being is completely involved in whatever you're focused upon and has a perspective too and so living happily ever after or feeling the most bang for your buck satisfaction wise right here and now is completely about the resonance that you are allowing between you and your inner being or not.